to First Looks with Budaman, this is Spencer on Live Nation, and today we are taking a look at Jolly Rover, which is relatively new to the play pack now. And um, basically what we have here is a point and click adventure game. Um, and it has this wonderful, charismatic, hand drawn art style. Uh, the characters are all dogs, which makes it a little more interesting. Uh, some of that plays into some of the jokes. I need something from up on and, uh, really, uh, in my opinion, it's kind of like a family title. Uh, there's a certain humor that only adults will really get. Um, that's a little lowbrow, but the way they do it, it's safe for kids. So, if you're a family person, this actually be a really good game to play with like your kids and stuff. And, uh, as I was saying, it is pretty funny. That's really the most comments I've seen about this game is that it made them laugh. Some people posting like their favorite lines from it. And, uh, you spend most of your time really just searching around for random objects or seemingly random objects and finding out how to use them to complete your tasks. For example, right now uh, I'm trying to get rum. Um, and I'm trying to get to the ultimately to the top deck of the ship, which you'll end up going to uh, island after that, hit land. And uh, you've really got to think about what's around you to complete this. Um, when you do get stuck, you can use crackers and uh, this parrot, the parrot you meet early on in the game. Uh, kind of like a classic wisecracking parrot. Uh, it was own brand of humor, which definitely lightens the story. And the, the crackers are actually pretty abundant, so if you do get stuck a lot, um, it's really not that difficult to move on, which is why this is more of a leisure title. Um, one complaint is getting around the world is kind of slow paced. Um, right now I'm just kind of exploring to really show off some of the different rooms of the ship and the art style, because it really is a charismatic it's game, it's nice to look at, uh, and that's around. always important for, especially like leisurely titles and point and click adventures, is if you're going to be staring at a screen for a while, it better look nice. Uh, as you can see, I'm just kind of trying different things to figure this out. Um, ultimately, I do use the parrot here. Um, and what ends up happening, you have to put a fish on this hook by the window. Um, and when this pirate gets up, he'll, he will spill the rum. And then you add uh, peppercorns to that. So he trips next time you get him to shut the window. And, uh, it, it's easy to assume early on in the game that the game's not going to change very much. And then you're just going to be finding random stuff. Do you have any more information? And piecing it together to okay. finish your task, but there is more depth to the game, uh, a little more interaction with people, especially when you get to the island. Uh, there are some puzzles you have to solve with uh, Voodoo, which involves doing, um, making different sounds and different body movements. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain without seeing it, but it is later on in the game, uh, past the point I recorded. Uh, it really adds an interesting I can't use the point to the game. It's uh, kind of turns out to be more of like a Simon Says kind of issue, where you have to remember what something does. For example, there's a a mango tree, and you see a monkey below it, and he uh, he does like this voodoo spell, and you have to memorize that and copy it if you want to get a mango, or ultimately you can just use the parrot for the hints. And uh, he will show you how to do that. So uh, this actually would be a really good game to keep a uh, pen and paper near you, or if you have like a tablet and like a stylus, you can write on there or something like that. Uh, it's definitely something I would advise to do, especially later on. Um, even uh, at this point, getting out of the hatch, there's a, a knocking sequence that you have to memorize. Or again, you can use the pair to get out. And uh, this really is a fun game. Uh, a lot of people just looked at it, and I think a lot of people their first thought was Nitrous Dogs. I, I think that really made a a really bad negative impact on some on-live gamers, especially in the playback. 
It's just an empty and, uh, I mean, what I really like about this game is, as I was saying, the graphics are really nice. The voice acting is really good. Um, the humor yeah, actually does make me laugh, and I've heard I that from a lot of other people. It's dusty. And the voice acting is, like I was saying, is pretty funny. And we'll always enjoy. have to breathe. Um, I'll actually show you a little interaction with the parrot here coming up. I'll slow it back down so you can actually understand it. Hello, Juan. Oh, hi. I'm having trouble getting some rum. The only port be send it. Do you have any more information? Crack air, crack air. Okay, here you go. What? Down the hatch. Be putting the dried fish on the hook near the large window in the galley. Then be opening the window after oiling it with your oily scarf. Be using some peppercorns to send him on a trip to remember. Okay. That's all for now. Better so, as you can hear, the voice acting is pretty well done, and the quality of the audio is pretty nice. <coughs> Uh, that particular part wasn't really meant to be funny, but informative. Uh, as you can see, uh, they just do exactly what the parrot says, and you should be good. So, uh, just to sum things up, like I was saying, it's a good family title, it's a good leisure title. Uh, definitely makes you think. Sometimes I have no idea why. If you like point-and-click adventures, um, you know, like your games to have a little bit of humor, um, great game to check out. Uh, I really haven't heard too much bad about uh, it, to be perfectly honest, except from people that really haven't played it and were just kind of personally offended that this is all they got for that week. And, uh, and it's a good game to check out. It looks like Pete is out for the counter. Definitely recommend it. It looks like Pete is out for the counter. Alright, thanks for watching. That's a spiffy looking hat.